So, we've just arrived at the Women's March in London, which has been going on for a few hours now, and there's still a few thousand people here, it still seems to be in full swing. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be walking around, speaking to people, just getting an idea about how third wave feminism is doing in 2017. Let's go. Seems to be about indoctrinating children so far, which is... I suppose pretty helpful. It seems like the left are loving to silence us. I've say not, not in my name. Not in, what isn't in your name? What is in my name? This increasing move towards discrimination, racism, misogyny. You know, the, we're the other 98 percent, whatever. 98 percent of what? We're the other 98 percent. Well, 53 percent of women voted for Donald Trump. I know. It's very sad. So, 98 percent of who? System, which I'm also opposed to. Well, Hillary won the popular vote, but the people who were voting for Hillary and for Trump both accepted that they were taking part in an electoral system. They wouldn't have complained about that system if, Trump, if Hillary won. So it doesn't really make a difference. Someone else, my friend. Pardon? Go and interview someone else. Tired cold. That's a shame. Tired cold. That's, that's what we're up against today, I guess. Yeah. Can you speak to us? Nobody has an argument. I mean, it seems really strange that they would come all this way to central London and none of them seem to be able to follow through with a simple conversation. It's really, really bizarre. Here, there's another person over here with this stuff. Can we ask why you're here today? Nah, it's not worth Just because you have a sign that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm not like an MP, sorry. Can you not explain the sign or anything? Nope. Another person with a great conversation. I'm here to fight misogyny and white supremacy. How are you fighting misogyny and white supremacy? By being here and supporting, and supporting women and movements worldwide. What do you think, what does your sign say? It's an abortion is a human right and no person is illegal. Do you think it's acceptable to abort a young girl who could go on to be the future president of America? I think a woman and any person with a uterus has the right to do what they want to do with their own body. So do you not believe in young, the rights for young girls who are unborn? I'm going to stop talking to you. Oh. There's another person who can't follow through the simple argument. Seems to be going pretty well. Every time it gets in any way interesting, they just turn around and say, I'm not talking to you. I can't deal with this conversation. They've been in their own echo chamber for so long, they have absolutely nothing else to talk about. Fuck Trump! Just fuck Trump, that's it. Why do you hate Trump? I hate Trump because he's a rally star. What is he? He's, he's just a dickhead with an orange face. Why is he a dickhead? Because he wants to shag his daughter. When did he say that? He said he would shag his daughter if it wasn't his daughter. No, he said that he was actually making a flattering comment about her, saying maybe if I was her age, I would do something like that. But he didn't actually say he would shag his daughter. So why do you have such a hatred for men who compliment women's looks? Because I just... You think people shouldn't compliment women and say that they find them attractive? Yes, but when Russians apparently have footage of him also with women from pageants in hotel rooms, it's a bit... Well, that was a fake rumor made up by fake news. Where did you hear that? It's that he said he, couldn't, he can't stop, he just kisses them and he can't stop kissing them. That's what he said. I mean, he didn't say that he would forcibly carry on kissing a woman. He just said, I couldn't stop, as in I really wanted to. So wanting to do something and putting it in practice are different. But we... I can't remember the quote exactly by heart, but it sounded very, very, very assaulty. It sounded assaulty. I just don't think you should define someone by their genitals. Like, a person is a person for who they are. Yes, you're a man and women, but you, people can be more than... Which person exactly did he define by their genitals? I don't know who it was, but females. The main reason that you're here today, because of that comment? Just his general, like, views on life. Just build walls. Wall Why would you build a wall? That was interesting. So, so far we had... Um, he told he would grab somebody by the pussy, and that's why she's here. And that everybody is the same colour no matter what, and we don't need walls, so seems reasonable.